Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present my honey mustard chicken calzone. Rather than use the basic pepperoni, marinara, and mozzarella filling, I decided to step out of the box a bit and put a few different flavors together for a little different twist to the classic calzone. Let's get started. We'll begin by making our honey mustard sauce with some mayonnaise, some Dijon mustard, yellow mustard, and a zero calorie pancake syrup from Walden Farms. We'll use this as our sweetener to replace the honey. I recently learned that not all low carb syrups are the same. Steve over at Sirius Keto and his lovely daughter taste tested about 10 different varieties. They saved me a lot of time and money as the one they liked was spot on and worked great in this recipe. I'll leave a link above and in the description for the Serious Keto channel. I highly recommend you check them out and tell them Papa G says hey. Once all the ingredients are combined, set the sauce aside while we work on the rest of the filling. Add 6 to 8 ounces of shredded cooked chicken to a mixing bowl. I made this easy by using a rotisserie chicken for my local grocer. Add some salt, ground black pepper, some dried thyme, chopped fresh parsley, just a pinch of cayenne pepper, and about a quarter cup of red onion roughly chopped. Now add half of the honey mustard sauce we prepared earlier. Give a mix to thoroughly combine. Cover and store in the refrigerator while we work on the dough. Add some ground pork rinds to a mixing bowl along with some grated Parmesan cheese and some shredded mozzarella cheese. Season with a little salt, Italian seasoning, and some garlic powder. Now add four lightly beaten eggs and mix this thoroughly until the eggs are fully combined. Spread some parchment paper over a hard, even surface. Pour out our dough on top. Place another piece of parchment paper over the top and use your hands to gently spread the dough to about a quarter inch in thickness. This dough is very easy to work with and spreads without much effort. Be careful though that you don't spread it too thin. You'll see why in just a bit. Once you've flattened into a semi-oval shape, slowly peel back the top parchment. Now lay six slices of provolone cheese near the middle. You'll want to leave about an inch along the edges. Pour our chicken mixture over the cheese and spread evenly. Add a little more sauce over the top. Now raise the back two corners of the parchment paper and gently bring it over the top to enclose the filling. Slowly peel back the parchment paper. You'll see it stick a bit where I had it a little too thin. But this dough is very forgiving. You can fix any small errors like this by using excess dough from the edges. Gently press along the edges to seal the dough. Use a knife and make some slices along the top to help release the steam that will develop. Melt two tablespoons of butter and add some garlic powder and Italian seasoning. Mix this together and brush the butter over the top. You'll want to coat the entire top. Now sprinkle over about a teaspoon of sesame seeds. Transfer to a baking sheet and place in the middle of a 375 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until golden brown on top. When it's done, you'll see that moist dough is transformed into a nice hearty crust capable of holding our calzone together. Place on a cutting surface to slice. Garnish with some extra sauce for dipping, a little chopped parsley, 
and enjoy. There you have it, folks, my honey mustard chicken calzone. A little different twist to an Italian-American classic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.